there's two types of if that we commonly use when we're setting up statements. Both of them can be preceded by moshi. And moshi doesn't on its own mean if. All it says is, listen up, I'm about to tell you that I'm going to use a, a sentence or a phrase that has if in it. If we're looking at ifs, we really are choosing the form of if we're choosing. If we're more worried about something happening or what we're going to do after the situation occurs. Let's take a closer look. If the one you really care about is if onlys, this is the one that we see a little bit that ends in ba. If you look back on today's, it was asking you, if only you had the chance to go to Japan, what would you do? If only you had the chance to stay in Ryokan, how would that be? And the emphasis here is on the if part, not really what happens after. I really like to think of this as the if only something occurs, isn't that awesome? And you're really, really talking about the if. You really, afterwards, don't care too much about what's going to occur after. Skina yofku okaiba. If only I could buy the clothes I like, wouldn't that be great? If only I had a million dollars, that would be awesome. If only I could see my friends every day, I'd be happy. If only I could see far away, wouldn't that be good? So the whole main focus of this if is on if only. The other if says, well, if that happened, then look what I would do. And this is the if that really occurs on only of what happens, what will occur after the if has happened. So, uh, Nihon e itara. If I went to Japan, uh, ao, then I could see you. Wouldn't that be amazing? And that would happen after this. Ha after I'd come to Japan, ski na yofuku o katara, uh, sugoi to omo. If I after I'd bought my favorite clothing, I would think this is a fantastic thing. Um, ichiman, sorry, ichiman. <laughs> Yakuman dollar got tara. Uh, okay, if, only, if I had a million dollars, well, then I could buy everything that I liked. If it were cheaper, if I had, if I had bought, if there was no homework. And in this particular if, it's really not the if part we're worried about. It's what will occur next. And one of my hints is, see that this is in the past tense, meaning that if this occurred, then I would do this. So... In making this particular one, we just go off of the plain past, the plain mashta. If we're looking at, again, back at the if only one, where this part, eh, what's well, going to happen? Not so important. Then it's a little bit different. We're really going off what we what we did in small part in group one when we did the uh, can-do form. So, e to a and adding ba. Mas is just dropping the mas and adding de ba, sure ba, kure ba. Yas kereba, hen nara, or you may de araba. You can add either of these two. And if it's des, it's nara or de areba. And again, this is for the, the if only phrase. If only. And this is what I kind of used to call the dream phrase. This is my dream scenario of something happened. And after that, isn't that awesome? Isn't that great? That would be wonderful. You're not really going on to mention a key activities or things you will do. This one, the if part is kind of, well, you know, if I had a lot of money, wow, this is the focus. This is what's going to happen. This is the key part. Listen up, because here is what I would do. And that's the ta-da one. So again, the if only one, the ba one, where all you really care about is the start. Here, you want something to have happened, and that's the da one, because then you're really caring about what happens after this if occurs.